Hello YouTube, I'm back with another uh, personal vlog. I think this is the first one of the new year. First one of the new year. Because y'all know the last one just took me out. We end up having to converse for about damn near two hours about, you know, the whole decade. Just throw the shit away. Like, I, I went through it throughout all of it. So y'all, I put that one down below if y'all didn't see it. Where a girl done mentioned about the cancer story, about Crohn's disease, homelessness, going back to school, and all of that. You know, my career ups, my career downs, um, all the various jobs that I've been in, and the, uh, the ups and downs with that. And then the most recently on my business channel, I mentioned about how I tried out being, you know, in the plant. And it was not what I was expecting. I, like, I was thinking about horrendous smells. I was thinking about actually dealing with live chickens. And it wasn't nothing like that on the cold side at Pilgrim's. Although, unfortunately, y'all know, I had a medical incident where I had a grand mild seizure. And that took me off the job. And even though I was cleared, it was some controversy in regards to me getting put back on. So, I, and then, you know, North Carolina, we got hit by not one, but two uh, thunderstorms. I mean, not thunderstorms, but, you know, hurricanes that disrupted areas. So, I couldn't even fall back on my aesthetics. Um, because y'all know I'm a licensed esthetician by trade. But I couldn't even fall back on my aesthetics because it's like most of my clientele, ironically, was outside of North Carolina. And, you know, the storms economically affected people coming in from certain highways. And then the people that I had here, you know, got destabilized. I had a good darn on decent darn on military. And then it's like now with the deployment and all that going on with Donald Trump. That, you know, would have further fucked me up with, you know, trying to get my army clientele because they most of them got darn on deployed. So it, it was a series of challenges that happened that economically displaced me as far as doing the study. So I had to darn go look towards um, another job. So a girl humbled herself and went to something that I'd never done before, and I went and did chickens. I went and took the training class for a whole week. I mentioned about this on my channel in detail, so go to that, and I break it down into a whole three-part, I think it's a three- or four-part series about Pilgrim's Pride on my business channel. But I mentioned about that, how I got put on the cold side. I learned how to use the wizard knife and cut the bone out and all of that, and if it has a whole bone, how to maneuver it down. I learned how to hang chickens. I loved how, I learned how to stuff them. All of that. But, you know, a girl can't do the heat. You know, girl got eczema. And, you know, I got to maintain my skin because I'm an esthetician first and foremost. And, you know, my skin is my moneymaker. So, I wasn't about to, you know, put myself in a situation. Especially since they say them chickens sometimes can come out of it and darn gonna pick. Mm -mm. I, girl ain't got time for all that. And especially since, you know, I, I do believe in animal safety. Girl wanted to be a veterinarian first and foremost. So it was already a, a slight conflict, the interest that I was working in a process plant. But it made me a little bit more easier since I wasn't actually dealing with the live side of the chickens. I was dealing with the cold side. Didn't have to deal with no heat, no horrendous smells, all this, that, and the third. And it was paying $14 on 50 an hour. Girl couldn't be the only downside is girl didn't have a car. And that what really did me, and I, I had to depend on other people. And then it's like, the... It, it was just a mess. So, girl was unemployed for six months. And I got to the point where I broke down. I was like, well, damn, what, what am I doing? Like, like y'all are punishing me for being successful. And I don't even think I'm really damn successful. It's like, it, it, this is the, it, the situation that college grads like me find ourselves in. It's like, we educated on paper, but y'all don't give us a chance to even so much as turn a fry. It's like we go and get these degrees. Y'all tell us the darn on upgrade our vernacular and all this, that, and the third. And then when we get out of here, some of our degrees aren't usable. But y'all y'all want to harass us with darn on student loans and shit. I just darn on got you know my finances in order in regards to that. Student loans hounding me. Now the hospitals hounding me. Credit card companies hounding. Now thank God I'm not tens of thousands of dollars in debt like that. Most that I do owe is ten thousand dollars worth of student loan debt. That's about it. I got, I only owe about like seven eight hundred dollars in credit cards and you know four hundred dollar darn on uh, cable bill back in the day. That that's about it. Um, and most of that was absorbent fees. 
Y'all know how they do when it comes to that darn on canceling shit last minute, but neither here nor there. But yeah, all that I've been dealing with, and it's like, oh my goodness, I can't get nowhere. Then I got hired back on with Kadoon. Motherfuckers never sent me my damn equipment. I say, ain't this about a bitch? I get hired. I done went through the orient. I mean, not the orientation, but the whole setup process, sending my info and stuff in. Never got my darn on shit. Couldn't darn on reach no, uh, to HR about my darn on stuff. So that was a darn on bubble. Then I got offered jobs, but I couldn't take them because, once again, I didn't have a car. Was offered a job in Raleigh uh, in the, a spa industry paying 20 some dollars an hour. Couldn't darn on go to there because of the fact that it didn't have a car. So it was like opportunities that I, oh, also work with the census. $14 an hour, once again, no transportation because my mother don't even want me to use a damn car. Even though it brings in money, you would think, you know, somebody would be helpful, but no. So went through all that, and finally, my aunt put me on with the schoolhouse. So I applied to the job at the schoolhouse, um... For legal reasons, I can't disclose. I mean, I can, but I don't want to, you know, because you know how the algorithm works when you mention certain stuff, and then I don't want my staff members coming, you know, across my video. So more for that reason why I'm not mentioning the particular school. But if y'all are from, you know, the 2-6, y'all know what school I probably were. I don't necessarily mind people around here knowing, but, you know, if, if you know, you know. Um, but I work now within the school system in one of the fast food restaurants in the school. And I never thought I would work for a fast food. I, I mean, I always said I would, you know, a girl ain't, you know, above turning fries and all of that. But a girl finally got the job. And, you know, pays above, and surprisingly pays above minimum wage. Because I'm thinking, Lord, most jobs, it's usually about, if it's above seven twenty five, they might give you darn on $7.50, $8.00. No, they give me you gave me quite a bit more than that. So don't mind saying it's a little bit over nine bucks. And this is something that helped me along until, you know, the springtime kicks in. And then it's like it's flexible. Where um um she's able to work with me, my hiring manager. If I needed to have set some set hours, she can do that. Long as I'm able to maintain at least twenty, um, that's you know, basically, I, she can work with me. And it's like, they don't give us over 40 anyway. I'm noticing that. <clears throat> and I'll mention more about this on my business channel about all the ins and outs about this job. So another reason to subscribe to my business channel, y'all just getting a general overview over here. Um, y'all just getting a blog talk. But over there, I will go into details about my job in detail. But it's been three weeks now on my job, learning a whole different thing. Once again... <clears throat> I got over 15 years of work experience, but zero fast food experience. I worked as a translator. I worked doing customer service. I've done sales from high tech darn going phones, carpet cleaners, uh, clothing apparel, um, you name it, honey. Uh, multiple, you know, multi level marketing. Network marketing, affiliate marketing, I've done and done it all. So with all of those types of jobs underneath my belt, also tech support, can doing, uh, translating jobs, uh, the list goes on and on. But this is the first time I've ever worked within a restaurant. And, you know, surprisingly, I wasn't the youngest there. I mean, granted, I mean, I wasn't thinking I would be I mean, I wasn't the oldest there. That's what I meant to say. I was, I'm right in the middle, which is surprising because it's like, when I think of restaurant, I think of a lot of young kids. And, you know, of course, there are a few college, you know, students that are, you know, students of the campus close to me um, that work there. Um, but there's quite a few older people as well. And I was surprised because I'm like, well, shoot, I'm 27. And... You know, the of course, the upper, you know, the so supervisors, you know, late 40s, older white guy, 50s. Um, but my um hiring manager, I think she might just be 42, 43, so younger 40s. And then our lead grill cook, she's like maybe 32, 33, 
So older, but not quite that old. Like they just literally, <clears throat> most of them are a couple years older than me. And then the um, the newest hire, she's around early 40s or whatever. Uh, everybody's darn on good for the most part, except for one. And then we'll come back and talk about that one, honey. Y'all know I wouldn't be Diva Wine if I didn't darn gonna have a story to be told. It's always something. But y'all know I don't let nothing get to me. I, outside of that one person, everybody likes me. And, and I'm talking about even outside of my job. Because the benefit of working at this particular franchise versus if I was to be everywhere else is the ability to me maneuver around the university. So unlike if I was working within this restaurant anywhere else, like an independent store, I wouldn't get the maneuver to other areas. And then we get free food at the uh, at the cafeteria like i don't have to eat the food within our restaurant that's another plus because you know a girl's trying to be healthy and all of that you know and then you know the fr the chicken and stuff is quite tempting you know hit me in um but you know i don't want to eat that all the time you know the nuggets and the chicken and you know it, it's good and all but it's like uh, the cafeteria actually got you know, different types of melanin, you know, melons and pineapples and, you know, pizza freshly darn on handmade and cooked. You got cakes and pies. And I'm like, why the hell everybody down here? And, you know, I ain't trying to throw no salt on our darn on restaurant because that's where we make our darn on money and shit. But I'm like, shoot, I, I found out we can eat free in the cafeteria. I can get a good $20 meal for free every day. And I'm about to come down here for a darn old little chicken box. Oh, no, because it's like you can't order anything off the menu. That's another thing. It's not like you about to order the deluxe, the, the, the such and such. Uh -uh. You got to order either the number one or the number three. Another hint. And if y'all know, y'all know. Uh, but like I said, go up and go, up, go to the cafeteria. Honey, you get darn on one, two slices. And they, they ain't stingy with the pizza. They ain't no small. It like they give you the big fat pizza, honey. You got your endless selection of dressings and all of that. Then macaroni one day, asparagus. Like I do. I get I get a whole three different plates. I get one plate for my fruits. I get me a couple of darn on slices of pineapple, some darn on um honeydew melon, um, another thing of cantaloupe. Then I have one for my cookie. I know I'm doing the most, but shoot, it's free. I get me some macaroni. And oh, Lord, then you got the dog on uh, the salad out there, too. Child, I'm about to put on. Y'all see this face getting a little bit full. And my hips are getting a little bit. Y'all can't see my hips. Thank God, black and slip. B bitch putting back on her weight. Y'all know I was dealing with a weight issue. Honey, girl, I'm put back on the weight and about to be putting on some more. Girl, don't got a don't back here. I've always had a little bit of boot, but honey, just within these three weeks alone, my hips are sitting in a whole different way. Like even the, because not only am I eating a lot more, but in addition, and then my hair, I think is starting to show it as well. Like you, you can even notice like even when my hair is freezing and stuff, it, it has more of a fullness to it, even in a shrunken state. But yeah. My darn on hair looks more fuller. I feel that my face look a little bit more fuller. Honey, if y'all can see this darn on lower area, honey, the hips are sitting in a way that I ain't seen in a minute. But then again, I do a lot of squats. I, I, you know, I'm lifting up darn on 50 pound fry, uh, you know, cases of fries, putting them on the darn on. So it's a lot of maneuvering. So it's like going in the freezer. It, 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 it is like a cryotherapy because it's like negative two degrees. And that's so relaxing. Y'all know I'm a Capricorn. So I be doggone just love. Honey, nah. -uh. I go to the freezer and get the fries because I love that coolness, honey. But ironically, everybody be complaining about it's hot and whatever. And I don't really be feeling the heat up in there. Like, I don't know. And usually I'm I'm very, you know, you know, I, I can't stand the heat. So if it's like, if it was excessively hot, I, but mm, I don't know what it is with that. Because it's like, it ain't no excessive heat like that. It, like, it's a main, it's, I would say maybe at the hottest it might be 75 degrees in them. But they be darn gonna complain like it's 100 some degrees. Always complaining about turning that air up and stuff. I don't get it. And like I said, me, I couldn't even be on the hot side 
at Pilgrims because of the fact that I'm heat sensitive. So, that little bit of heat they they be complaining about, I don't get it. Now, that there smoke sometimes get with me when I darn gonna have to lift up the fries and stuff. And, you know, the line get too excessive. But I'll talk more about that in another video. But outside of that, everything is good. I am enjoying my new position. I now got another notch under my belt. I can say that I've now worked at a chicken processing plant and I've worked at a doggone chicken franchise. Another hint to what area that I work in. So, join it three weeks now. Loving it for the most part, 90%. I definitely see myself maintaining this job, at least to the summertime. Because once again, it ain't nothing, uh, uh y'all thought y'all was going to, uh-uh. Let me darn on, because I am wearing my darn on logo. Y'all almost really got it. Mm -mm. But anyways, really to join this new position that I am in. And we can finally get some stuff done. You know, like I said, this lighting is going to, uh, but this is going not going to be this paycheck. Got paid, a, got paid today as well. That's why I'm also happy. But this paycheck, I'm going to be focusing on my teeth. Yeah, long overdue. I need this removed. I need this, you know, filled, filled up. My existing crowns need to be touched up. All of this need to be bleached. So a lot going on with my teeth. I need a whole porcelain on crown replacement subsequent to all my... Because I don't want my, you know, my tooth replacement to look completely different than my teeth. So I got to find out how much is all that going to cost. Because I know I'm probably looking at a $75 copay. And then I'm probably looking at about an additional $120 some dollars out of pocket. But honey, that's, that's excellent when you're talking about, you know, on no $275 copay. So $150. i am looking at about $300, which is still excellent considering that I need about five thousand dollars worth of shit done because that porcelain crown is going to be like two thousand dollars by itself and then the you know the the putting in and all that's probably like another six seven hundred dollars and then it's like the teeth bleaching is going to be like another three i mean you know but after discounts and all that out of pocket expense is going to be like 300 bucks when it's all said and done that's with my dental discount that i'm looking at in addition to my dental insurance so yeah a lot but i think my teeth is definitely something needed because my teeth is my money maker like even though i'm not a dentist it's like as an institution you know people are naturally looking at my face and as a byproduct even though my teeth is not connected to my skin it's like still you want to be your best for yourself so people think it's cosmetic but it's really needed to drop because at the end of the day, this is not going to be my main job. My main career, I mean, this is my job, but it's not my career. My career will always be an institution. So I need to make sure that my exterior is looking as best as possible. And this job is helping me out with that. And I'm making sure y'all don't see my logo. Making sure to keep this hidden. But yeah. Also, I will be investing in a hair care product. I don't know if it's going to be this paycheck or next paycheck. I'm, I'm still out on that. We'll see. But I definitely know I'm replacing my shower. My shower filter is long overdue. So, I, I'm replacing my shower filter. That's a must. So, yeah. I, for y'all that don't know, I, I am in North Carolina. We do have some eye hard water. Not as hard as other areas, but y'all know we have Gen X. Um, in our water so that you know on top of the fact that I have Crohn's disease I naturally need it for that reason also I have eczema and a girl is dealing with some pattern baldness so got to deal with that as well so got the water a water filter that is a must although a mildew resist I and I did not know that these exist um a, a mildew resistant darn gone um shower thing like my protector i always got to wash like every six weeks now i wish they can find me a you know what's the thing like the bathroom curtain or whatever when i put on the 
actual shower window itself. I wish I could find a mildew version of that. Um, but I haven't. So right now I got that rinky dink thing over it. You know, my course, my mother don't know anything about this. She's so darn on masculine. Don't make no sense, honey. Only thing she does is darn on eyes shot and she, she thinks she darn on real, mm -mm. real masculine, honey. She don't think of shit like that. But I'm the I'm the girl of the house that thinks it's little stuff like that. Like, you know, payday comes. Let me go ahead and get the shower filter. Like, she ain't that type. Like, honey, if I didn't tell her about Janet's in the water, she would still be drinking. I finally got her on the bottle of waters and all of that. And then, oh, but I can't get to Walmart because of the way my schedule and then her schedule. So, I, I, I can't replace my zero water filter. Y'all know I do have a zero um, bottle. So I'm going to have to get some darn gone um, water for my local family dollar instead um, until next payday. But I do have a zero um, bottle that is long. I mean, it's still filtering, but not at the level of which is acceptable for me. Because technically the zero filter is supposed to have zero parts, which we shown. I got a whole video on my main channel. Uh, showing how the zero water filter works. Now it's at like 112, which is good for my area because my water is like at 150. Um, legally in our state, we can get up to 200 and that's the safe zone, but it's like, who, who wants water at 200 parts per billion contaminants? And then certain other states got, you know, like Flint and stuff is right at 400, very toxic. Yeah. So, yeah. I got to replace that. So a lot of stuff that I'm already planning. And I've also done my, for, for, for my Yang Yang, I done finally made my first donation to Dargon Andrew Yang. Um, I don't know if he still got my necessarily full support, but I, I still want to see him in the race for the time being. He is my most secondary at the moment. And I don't want the, any excuses of him not, um, you know, being around. So I made my first donation to Andrew Yang today with all the videos that I've done that's been favorable to Andrew Yang. Y'all already knew it was, you know, inevitable that I would eventually give my support. Now, he don't got my full endorsement just yet. He, he still got to talk a little bit more black to me, honey. He got We, we got to get them black at Yang Gang. We got to have a conversation. And, you know, throwing Dave Chappelle in our face. I love me some Dave Chappelle, I do. But I, I, I nah, don't, don't, don't give me darn celebrity darn uh entertainment in exchange for nothing. I don't care how many black people you rock with as far as celebrities and shit go. I don't give a damn about if Dave Chappelle does free comedy gigs uh, for your darn on uh, campaign events. I want to know what black issues you're going to really address. Now, he really does good with the... um. You know, the freedom dividend, but I need to hear more Pacific, like criminal justice reforms, you know, address it. But he does do some of that, especially the black mortality rate and addressing the transgender community. So he does, you know, have some, he, he addressed it, but we need to just add a little bit more. And we're we going to have a video about that, Andrew Yang, but he, he, he's a good second thus far. And so I had to give my um, support today. To Andrew Yang that now that I'm blessed to now have some stable income. So that's what's been going on with your girl. Um, you know, getting used to this new work schedule. Enjoying this darn on healthy darn on weight gain that I'm going. Oh, and y'all about to finally go on my hair journey with me. And for that reason, that's why I post. Yeah, I know y'all be like, why you ain't never going blind. A bitch going to go blind. But soon as we can start getting this hair together so we we postponed because i know i told y'all that i was uh, starting the process of bleaching my hair early in the year but we're going to push it back to mid-year because i did not see this happening to me this was back when i thought that i was still going to be working independently and not really having stable income but now that stuff is picking up we can focus on more important things first the hair is secondary the teeth and stuff i need right now Skincare, I need to, you know, pick up on right now. Oh, I definitely need to do a skincare purchase. That will be a review on my... Because I've, I've been abandoning my beauty channel. Um, So, we're going to be picking up on the beauty channel with my update to my zero water filter. 
skincare product reviews. Y'all are going to go on my hair journey with me again, but this time actually combating the baldness because I my hair is not gone. It's just very stunted. So if y'all look at my hair, I actually do have hair in this area. So um, for people who's commenting about male pattern baldness, my hair is not at the stage of which it's completely gone. Like, you know, a couple of treatments can revive it. So I'm investing in high frequency. I'm investing in, you know, some revolutionary hair products by a renowned dermatologist um, that I'm going to be going in details. We will be doing a, a full three-month trial of that particular product line. And y'all will be with me every day of that. In addition to, I'm going to look into another company of black seed oil. I've been hearing rave reviews about BioNATO. It kicks, you know the amazing herds behind and all of that so i'm definitely going to look into bio especially since they now got a smaller thing baby it's like they only offered a 16 ounce back in the past and it was 90 dollars. and i was like oh i can't do it honey but now that they offer one for 45 dollars, and i think that's the four ounce one i can do 45 i can do the 45 dollars but that 90 dollars no god honey mm-hmm -mm. Hell, now mine's the mine did good as well. Um, I can't think of the name right now, but go to my beauty channel and I have mentioned the um the black seed oil that I use, but it was not amazing herbs. Ma matter of fact, let me stop being lazy and get up and um just show it. It's the Mao Maja. Like this did pretty good. And this ain't, it has 1.5% um, thiocormone, uh, but the Amazing Herbs actually has twice as much as this. Now, I noticed some good results as far as me no longer dealing with my eczema flares as much while putting this on my skin. I, sadly, it didn't do nothing for the hair. Didn't do nothing for the hair, but it actually did some goodness for my skin. Um, like I said, calm down eczema. Also, when I shave, since I can't afford laser hair removal at the moment, since I don't have a car to travel to the most affordable and most qualified darn on laser technician that can work on black skin in Raleigh. So, since I can't do that, I still have to shave and, you know, I have to deal with combating, you know, over melanin production in the area because you know most people who shave end up looking dark so i have to constantly use lightening agents to make sure my skin stays its natural skin tone that it don't be about six seven shades darker in this area due to over pigment because i am prone to over pigment and this has aided in calming down inflammation after this put on a little bit of this um diluted with some of my african pride olive miracle i don't like that they done change the ingredient like i'm fortunate that i was able to get an old one still but the new one got the tea tree and some sort of other oil Ugh. i hate that they changed that darn on oil up on me but unfortunately i still got one more thing of the old version of african pride so yeah i put that on my um lower area takes down any inflammation that i would receive without over drying my skin because you know salicylic and darn going rich hazel and stuff over dries my skin because once again i'm combination and then i have eczema so it's like that over drying can freak of uh, you know trigger eczema flares so this was good but they say that with the um bio nail it's supposed to have twice as much um than this so definitely look forward into, you know, seeing how that works on top of my high frequency treatments. And then, of course, I'm going to finally start doing the modeling demos. But that's after I get my camera situated because we ain't about to have the shit looking like this. We, we stepping our game up in 2020. And that's why I had to postpone the hair as far as bleaching it because we got a lot of stuff going on for the new year. We finally going to start doing the modeling demonstrations with, you know, wax demonstrations, both male and female clients, black, white, Asian, um, Native American, Hispanic. We finally going to do some chemical peel demos. 
it's a little bit more difficult because it's like I, at the moment I got to do it from the apartment and it's like oh these neighbors although my neighbors ain't been active lately like I, I wonder if he done finally got gone and got his own place because I haven't heard the truth now granted that I work in the morning but even when I get home at night I don't hear them no more I hear a whole nother people over there but he got like a it, the weirdest thing is the the house is you know the apartment is in the grandfather's name who used to be there by himself and had the other son there with his baby mama and child they got gone and got their own place only for him to get the other son there who then the the, uh, the brother and then it's like about five or six of his friends and the 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 main person who's on the lease stays with his sister so it's like instead of the old man there is like it's five or six people and there used to always be some shit going on late night uh, you know party and all that but i haven't heard that in the past like week and a half i haven't even heard that raggedy darn on darn on uh car that sounds like a truck so i'm thinking this might be the time where on my days off i can finally start you know doing because the thing is they took up all the parking space it's like my mother has the darn on car that i can't use that's in the front section and then it's like, I can't block the middle for the mailbox. Then I can't park at the side, because we did have a empty apartment building, but that somebody done finally moved into the side that's closest to where I would be able to park the car, so that's uh, unavailable. And then it's like this whole other side of our apartment. Y'all see, you know, go back into my videos to see how small my apartment look like. It, it, we got a fucked up darn on driveway. So it's like these motherfuckers darn gone took take up like five to six spaces. It's like even if I wanted to get a damn car, I can't even darn gone uh, park nowhere here. Ain't that about a bitch? Y'all take up five cars, but lately it's only been two there. So I, that would be good, you know, for you know my models to come through and provide uh, content as far as you know advertisement for my aesthetic business in addition to showing y'all. You know, the ins and outs of, you know, aesthetic care on, you know, black skin, Asian skin, you name it. Uh, Brazilian waxing, anal lightning. I want to do it all as far as demonstrating it to y'all. So a lot of things going on in this job has been helping out with that. Like I said, I'm so excited. I'm finally going to get this hair. Y'all going to be on this hair journey with me again. And so this time we're going to make sure this starts to match this. Like, of course... It ain't going to hardly ever get to this length, but yeah, don't let the shrinkage fool y'all. Even with all the shit that I've been going through, I have maintained roughly 18 to 20 inches of hair. People don't believe me until I do the stretch test because people think that my hair is like right here. And then I have to show them like, no, it's still, you know, bra strap length. Uh, although it's been like that for the longest because y'all know technically... If it wasn't for all the stuff that I've been through, malnutrition and all that, my hair supposed to be like, what, waist length by now? My hair supposed to be almost touching my hip bone. With realistically the way that my hair grows, like at its most optimal state, my hair can grow at least two inches a month. So I grow extremely above the average because the average growth is like a half an inch. But I noticed under... When I'm eating very healthy under those types of circumstances, uh, even factoring in, you know, the trims and stuff, I can maintain like an inch solid, uh, you know, an inch to an inch and a half factoring in trims and all that. So a year's time frame, I'm supposed to have anywhere from 12 to 18 inches of hair. So I'm supposed to be like being at darn on waist length, hip length hair. But we, and then, you know, of course, with my afro, that means that my hair supposed to be like down to here and then it stretches down. But, you know, of course, with all the breakage and all of that and then this section, we, we're still right here stunted at like between 18, 16, and 5 inches, honey. Yeah. Versus my hair, and it broke off a couple inches because y'all know I'm, I told y'all my hair used to be 22 inches. Because my hair used to be a little bit past my bra strap. It used to be right here. But now when I stretch it, it goes like just right here instead of, you know, right here. So that's about four inches of hair broken off. But now with me eating good and investing in more quality, 
you know, hair care and the shower filter before I even get any hair system. And like, it, it, it doesn't do anything if I don't get the shower filter first. So I'm doing my best intrinsically as far as now my diet has changed. I get to eat healthy every day at the cafeteria. In addition to the fact that uh, I will now be able to go to the store. I will I will be able to convince that dragon to take me to the store. And then in the meantime, in between time, a girl might qualify for some stamps. I'm going to be real with y'all. This job is good and all. But until my other business pop off, this is going to be a temporary move. Don't y'all poverty shame me, honey. I don't mind saying that I'm at a state where I might have to go apply. I'm going to see a girl working at least 20 hours. Uh, you know, go ahead and run me. They good old. I, I'm going to see shit. I ain't darn on too humble. I ain't too darn on uh, prideful. Not darn going to take a little bit of EBT shit. I sure will. But uh, let's see. The way Trump darn on making shit, though, it mm, might not get darn on approved. But we're we going to see on on the next paycheck. I'm going to give it to one more paycheck. And I go down there and see. Because technically, I do fall within the qualifications. And like I said, temporary. So before y'all get down there in them comment section, honey, that's not for me to stay on. I, like I said, this is just temporary so I can build up my status business. The goal is to be at three, four thousand dollars a month. So, and then it's like for um, reference, anybody who makes over thirteen hundred dollars um, net profit do not qualify. So that goes to show you that yeah, the job doing good, but they ain't doing that damn good. Versus if I would have been at the plant, I wouldn't have qualified. Cause that's once again that's fourteen dollars an hour, and I would have been able to work about fifty hours a week. But I, that would have been a major come up for me. So that, that, so I don't want nobody thinking that when I go down here to get these good stamps or whatever, that a girl is trying to be on there for the long term. Hell, motherfucking no, bitch. Girl actually got goals and aspirations. Girl trying to get a car so she we can get this hair together off the face and up here. We trying to get the trichologist to put the hair up here, and we going to get this lasered off down here. Girl trying to get teeth together, and we can't be doing that on a motherfucking food stamp, darn on income like budget. It's good for now to get me back in the game, to get me more stable, so I can invest in my stuff, so I can do what I need to do to get me back to a, a better, you know, standard of living. But for now, we just going to, you know, ride the rave, go with the motions, but... And, of course, my nose is stuffy. Another reason why I need to invest, because I noticed that my nose didn't get as stuffy when I was darn on consistently taking the, um, uh, the, um, uh, the black seed oil. But y'all know that with this darn on crazy weather, it's warm again. I mean, not necessarily warm like 70, but it's coming back. It's 70, it was like 50 today. But, like, the other day was 20, and it, it, it just fucks up this darn on immune system. Uh, and another thing is, but when I was taking the black seed oil, I didn't go through this as much. My zomia has been completely cured. I no longer pass out randomly through the day, even with my darn on caffeine binders and shit. Y'all know I gave up at Mountain Dew. I haven't drunk Mountain Dew since the beginning of September. I had one one flip uh flip up during September. But I haven't drunk Mountain Dew since September, and it's now the beginning of the year. I've been on this Figo kick, which has half as many calories, and now that I'm at half as many sugar um, per serving. Oh, but see, a girl has been drinking the Sprite at my restaurant, so yeah. But I think the Sprite has less. And then it's like, uh, I, I do, when I go to the cafeteria, they have the fruit-infused water, so I will get that instead. And then they, I finally noticed that they have lemonade. I will get that. So I, I, the girl don't get the Sprite all the time, but I do get it enough where it's like, mm. But it doesn't have as much sugar as that darn on Mountain Dew. And since I'm balancing it out, because it's all about balance. It's like, yeah, I drink the Sprite. However, it's like I'm also following it with, you know, strawberry-infused water. I'm following it up with lemonade. I'm also drinking, I mean, I'm eating the honeydew melons and stuff. So I do I do enough fruits and stuff to balance in water to balance out the sodas. It's like for every glass of soda that I had, I done had like four to five darn gone juices and water in combination. So it balances out. 
And of course, like I said, when I start to go to the store, another reason why the food stamps can come in handy, I can stock up all my juices and all that in addition to my income. And that way I can, you know, focus on, you know, getting the stuff fixed. And then six months I don't, I won't uh, reapply because I'll be at a level where I won't qualify. So that's the darn gone go. So February we're gonna go down there and see what they darn gonna tell me. See if darn gone Donald Trump ain't made it impossible just yet. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put in for my dental insurance and all that. But right now we're gonna focus on the hair. Um, you know, bills here. I still got regular bills, and that's it for the time being. Oh. And I will be investing in a tripod to set up this darn on phone for the time. Oh, and then I got to replace this phone. This phone, um, y'all know I'm team straight talk, but this is a Samsung S4 and it runs on an Android. I can't get none of my damn apps. Like, I am still on, and don't y'all judge me. I am on Android 4.0 with this phone. So, I, I, I'm not necessarily investing in an S9 or S10 at this point in time, but I do need at least an S6. Something that can get to a, and, uh, you know, Android 6.0 and higher. So, I will be investing in either an S5 or an S6. Like I, or maybe even an S7. Because I, I notice on eBay, the prices are very affordable. So... I will be investing in those later on this year. And I will be investing in a computer. That way, when this job ends, I can finally apply for the jobs that I did not qualify for um, because of my laptop. My laptop's 15 inches. And, you know, they want you to usually have 19 inches of large. I'm going to be on the safe side and get the 27-inch monitor that I've seen on, you know, Amazon. That way, whether it's a 19, 21, or 22 and a half inch requirement, I meet all three requirements. So those are my investments this year. I'm definitely going to invest in that because that's going to guarantee me other jobs. And I was hired for those. I was approved for those jobs and I could not apply. I could not do it like Wim Sonoma wanted me, but I could not get a 19 inch monitor in time. And that was darn going $14 an hour. And then another job wanted me within customer service, translating French. That was $13 an hour. Couldn't do it because, once again, they wanted a 22 and a half inch monitor. So those types of jobs that I had to give up, I, I'm definitely going to be looking to get into this year in addition to my aesthetics. So that is it in a nutshell, y'all. That is everything that's been going on with your girl. I will keep y'all updated as the days go on. Like I said, um, subscribe to the business channel to know more about the Pacific job that I work at in detail. Subscribe to my beauty channel to go on my, because that will be where I really talk about the hair and all of that. So go over there for that. Skincare or wax demos, all of that will be coming up on my beauty channel. So subscribe over there for that. And I will see y'all soon with more videos. Mwah.